viewers to a historic moment for India's space ambitions. After nearly 28 hour journey, the Axiom 4 mission is set to dock with the International Space Station. The mission launched at 12.01 p.m. on Wednesday from NASA's Kennedy Space Center with docking expected by 4.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time today itself. On board are astronauts, veteran spacefarer Peggy Whitson and India's own Shubhanshu Shukla once docked and after essential pressure and leak checks, the team will enter the International Space Station and begin a two-week scientific mission. Among their research goals, advancing studies on diabetes and participating in educational outreach is some of the key areas that are going to be focused. For Shukla, this milestone isn't just personal. It's symbolic of India's expanding footprint in global space exploration. It is the talk of the nation. Let's get you more details in this report. देशवासियों भारत की यूनिट स्पेस प्रोग्राम की शुरुआत है और मैं चाहता हूं कि आप सभी देशवासी इस यात्रा का हिस्सा बने आपका भी सीमा जोड़ हो चौड़ा होना चाहिए आप भी उतना ही एक्साइटमेंट दिखाइए आइए हम सब मिलकर भारत की यूनिट स्पेस प्रोग्राम की जर्नी की शुरुआत करें धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत And yes, the next big step that we're going to witness later this evening is the critical docking. Why is this phase so very critical and what's the process and procedure that's followed? We're going to break it down for you. The Dragon capsule, remember, is approached uh, and it happens in a very systematic way. It approaches the International Space Station systematically. Uh, it pauses at a designated point from 400 meters inward. Uh, the ground control then authorizes each progression. That's the process that's followed essentially. At 20 meters, interestingly, the craft is guided to modules docking port. That's when the docking process formally begins. Laser sensors, cameras then guide the craft towards the port. The connection to the International Space Station takes place in two phases. The first phase is the magnetic soft capture, which is done by the craft itself. It's done first and then comes the mechanical hard capture for the airtight seal. That is when the docking process essentially concludes and that's where uh, one can formally say that Axiom 4 has made it to the International Space Station. So the docking is expected to take place 4.30pm, that is today Indian Standard Time itself and all eyes are on this next crucial phase. Going across to Shristi Chaudhary who joins us with more details. Shristi, you've been tracking this story since yesterday. Uh, it has been a few hours now till the first process began. Uh, all eyes are of course post 4pm. Tell us what are the criticalities involved in the docking process. We've spoken about what really happens and phase by phase how towards the end of it there are two essential uh, components of the docking process. But what are the criticalities that come with it? Shristi. Uh, right, uh, Kritsveen. Uh, so, docking is a very critical exercise in the entire space flight when uh, the uh, spacecraft actually aligns with the International Space Station. So, there are set certain conditions which are required to be met. First of all, uh, the distance has to be optimum. It has to be perfect alignment with the position, with the port position where, you know, uh, the, uh, where the space is craft has to dock. So, uh, as of now, what the information that we have is that the Dragon is going to uh, uh, dock with the Harmony module of the uh, ISS. So, um, before that, it will have to uh, perform a series of orbital maneuvers so that the orbit could be raised to exactly the orbit around 400 km, which is the International Space Station. So, uh, most of this is usually carried out by the onboard computers. But it requires careful monitoring and maneuvering by the ground team as well as the crew on board. Mm -hmm. So all those conditions will be carefully uh, executed uh, during the next few hours. And if all goes well, by 4.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time, uh, Dragon will uh, dock with the ISS. And once that is done, then the hatch will be opened. Uh, safety checks will be done. 
and uh, following which the crew is going to come out and enter the international uh, space station and meet with the uh, current crew which is there and uh, there will be of course some remarks uh, following which we will know that yes our uh, uh, four astronauts uh, on Axiom mission including uh, Cap Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla have successfully entered the international space station so yes looking forward to this critical exercise okay all right, Shristi, we'll come back to you in just a bit, dipping into what's happening in the latest. Yeah, Poland and Hungary lifted off aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft from historic launch complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The AX-4 crew has now been in orbit for just over 23 hours. And since that great liftoff that we had shots of on your screen Beautiful. just a moment ago, they've taken off their spacesuits. We call that doffing in the space industry. Then they checked in with our medical team, got comfortable inside Dragon. They ate a meal. They took a rest period. And as our crew prepared to arrive at the International Space Station, so has our spacecraft. At this point, Dragon has completed the phase burn, which is the first of five major burns required to raise Dragon's orbit and position it for its approach to the International Space Station. I love it. And while we wait for the crew to reach the best position for a clear signal from Dragon, let's take a moment to introduce them to you. The commander of our flight today, Peggy Whitson, is now a two-time commander for Axiom Space, having previously served aboard AX-2. This mission marks her fifth mission to space and will extend her record for the most time in space by an American. A 2025 inductee into the Astronaut Hall of Fame Peggy serves as Axiom Space's Director of Human Spaceflight. Dragon SpaceX, we're approximately four minutes out from our media event, so last set of instructions for you. Once we get video at the start of the ground pass, I will instruct you to start a timer so you can monitor the event duration. Reminder, that's 19 minutes. After that, I will say, Dragon, you are go for the event, and that is a call that cues the SpaceX media team to start the event. Once you hear that call, Wait five seconds and then begin. Any questions? Copy. Start a timer. 19 minutes total is what we're expecting. And um, uh, we'll give you five seconds after you make the call before we begin. All right. That's a good read back. And final bit of advice, look good, sound good. You guys will knock it out of the park. a lot of pressure on us. So great, great confirmation there from our crew communicating with our core here at SpaceX Mission Control and also a good preview for us. Um, so next up on our mission today is mission pilot Shubanshu Shukla from the Indian Air Force, and he is taking his inaugural trip to low Earth orbit. Representing the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, Shooks is also an astronaut designate of India's inaugural human spaceflight effort, Gaganyaan, which is currently in development. And then our third crew member for today's mission is Mission Specialist Sławo Szuznanski Wisniewski of Poland. He is representing the European Space Agency as a project astronaut, coming from the reserve class of 2022. A scientist by trade, he spent two years as the engineer in charge of the world-famous Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, beginning in 2018. And rounding out our crew, we have mission specialist Tibor Kapu of Hungary. Tibor emerged as one of four Hungarians selected for the Hungarian to Orbit Astronaut Program, also known as HUNOR. And together they are the crew of AX-4, Axiom Space's fourth private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. In addition to representing the return to space flight for India, Poland, and Hungary in over 40 years, this mission also highlights the growing opportunities for nations and entities around the world to conduct meaningful work in low Earth orbit through private astronaut missions. Their time on station will feature up to 14 days docked to the orbiting laboratory, where they will conduct over 60 research activities representing 31 different countries. That's a lot of goodness for them to be doing up there, and we are excited to get them there. I'm excited to see them get to station, do their welcome ceremony later today. Absolutely. Um, but I think from that point on, they're going to be pretty busy. They've been busy in Dragon so far, like I mentioned earlier, getting ready for their arrival. Um, and we on the ground are obviously monitoring them every step of the way. You heard Mission Control talking to the crew earlier. Um, we actually staff Mission Control 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. Anytime we have a crew on station, we're always monitoring that Dragon spacecraft.
And while there's still several hours out from that, here we are getting a moment to check in with them, see how they're doing, hear from them directly, and to think that they are currently over the Earth right now going 17,500 miles an hour, completing an orbit every 90 minutes. Uh, this is truly a special moment for them that we get to join in in. Yeah, I'm excited to hear from them. Um, there's a great image on your screen right now of where they are over the Earth. Um, so for three of our crew members today, this is their first time in low Earth orbit. Um, and as we heard them on the on the nets earlier, they sound excited. Sounds like it's going to be good. Oh, I think so. And I know we're just a few minutes out, but uh, this crew still has just over five hours to go before docking with the International Space Station. So here in a moment, we expect to hear directly from them about their first hours in microgravity. And certainly, we're very eager to share that with everyone today. So as you might have mentioned, or as, as you might imagine, communicating with a spacecraft that is moving 17,500 miles per hour requires a lot of planning and very precise timing. Um, part of that, which you know if you've joined us on previous crew missions, is that we can only talk to the crew when they're flying over a designated ground station. The amount of time that we have connectivity with the crew varies depending on the location of the ground station and the position of the spacecraft on orbit. Now, as you heard us talking about earlier with our commander, Peggy Whitson, for this particular opportunity today, we expect to have 19 minutes to hear from the crew. Dragon SpaceX, you can start a timer, and then you are go for the event. There you have it. Welcome, Earthlings, from Grace. We are in the new, newest capsule, Dragon capsule, and we are very happy with, with her. She's got a little bit of a new spacecraft smell, and we're loving, loving her a bunch. Um, it's so much fun to be up in space again, always, always fun to be in space, but it's really fun to be in space with three new astronauts. And uh, they've got a lot to share with you, uh, but we just wanted to welcome you on board, Grace. And we are here not only four of us, but we have with us our ZOG indicator, Joy, that started to float with us just when we in uh, injected into orbit. Joy is floating with us all over the capsule, so sometimes we have to find him and her um, here, here with us. But um, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling to, to, to be in orbit for the first time. I, when we unbuckled, when I unbuckled for the first time, I didn't feel 100%, but uh, then everything settled. And when I looked out through the window for the first time, the view was just stunning. And where we are? Now we are flying over Europe. We have just before uh, this conference, we, we saw passing Italy, Sicily, the Greek islands and the Balkans. And now we are going a bit slightly up north, so towards Hungary and Poland a bit on the side. So yes, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is a great moment to, to be able to see back on, on Europe, on home, on our countries. And uh, yes, Peggy. You can show the view through the window. Okay. And over to Shooks. Hello, everyone. Um, namaskar from space. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here with my fellow astronauts, as Peggy said, one veteran and three rookies, and uh, wow, what a ride it was. Uh, frankly, when I was sitting in the uh, capsule in Grace yesterday on the launch pad, uh, my only thought in my mind was that let's just go. After 30 days of quarantine, it was a feeling that I just wanted to go, you know, the excitement and all was, you know, probably far away. It was just the feeling that let's just leave here. But when, when the ride started, it was something, like you're getting pushed back into the seat. It was an amazing ride. And then suddenly, nothing. 
everything silenced and you were just floating you unbuckled and you were just floating in the silence of vacuum it was it was an amazing feeling uh, i wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been a part of this i understand that this is not a personal accomplishment it is a collective achievement of each and every one of you who has been a part of this journey and uh, to make this possible i i really want to thank each one of you also to family and friends uh, you know your support has mattered so much this is this is so much because of all of you guys we showed you joy and grace you know this is swan a great symbol it looks really cute but we have uh, a very important swan in our um, indian culture which we about swan uh, symbolizes wisdom it also has the ability to discern uh, it should be focused on and what uh, does not so basically the golden age of distraction i would say so this means uh, a lot more not just just a zero g indicator for uh, as and i think that we all have symbolism in poland and in hungary and in india as well so i think this looks like a coincidence but it is not that it it has more meaning than what we are attaching it to it the capsule itself grace has been very kind i have been feeling uh, i was not feeling very great when we you know got shot into the vacuum but since yesterday i have been told that i have been sleeping a lot which is a good sign <laughs> so i think that's a, that's a great sign i am i'm getting used to this quite well enjoying the views enjoying the entire experience of learning like a baby you know learning the new steps <laughs> learning how to walk learning how to control yourself everything learning how to eat i think so it's a new environment new challenge and i'm really enjoying this experience with my uh, fellow astronauts here and uh, it's good to make mistakes but it's better to see somebody else do that too so <laughs> <laughs> so it has been a fun time up here uh, that is all i have to ha- i have to say thank you so much guys for making this happen and i'm i'm sure that we are going to have a great time